Thursday comes. Thursday comes. Thursday began a very, very powerful and different transition also in the last moments of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And of course, the Monday. Thursday and Monday. Nothing happens in his life with coincidence. And he, as you all know, used to fast every Thursday and every Monday. I, in the depth of my heart, know it was not coincidence. This, this must have some link with it. In addition to what he told us, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. On that Thursday, during his illness, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he continued in his most beautiful, spiritual, splendid bravery, continued to lead salah. Salah. The last salah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was on Thursday night, the Maghrib Salah. And for that reason, somehow I began to love more than ever before Surah Al Mursalat. For the last surah he recited in the Quran, in Salah, the most beloved act to Allah and to his Rasul was Al Mursalat. Wal Mursalat Urfa. Those that are sent. The angels. By the time of Isha, he could not move. And when he could not move, it is like ten men together could not move. Not like when you or when I, I don't know about you, Hafidakumullah, or when I fall sick and I think I can't move when probably I could move. He could not move and he lost consciousness. He woke up for a moment and the first thing he said, Asallanas, the first thing he said, Asallanas, did people perform their salah? Haisha, our mother, in whose presence he died, she said, La ya Rasulullah, fa'innahum fintizarik. No, Ya Rasulullah, they are still awaiting for you. They have hope. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, bring me al makhzab this big vessel with water, cool, fresh water. He entered inside of it and he refreshed himself and bathed and got out to get some strength. And as he stood up to walk to inside the masjid, he fell. And he lost consciousness. He wakes up a while later. And the first thing he says, Asallanas. 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 La ya Rasulullah hum fi intizarik. He tries that again, washes and tries to get up and he can't and he falls thrice. Asallanas. Finally, he appointed Abu Bakr in Allah ta'ala to lead Salatul Isha. 
أن أبو بكر الصديق led صلاة العشاء of Thursday night and the Fajr Salah of Monday and three days in between the scholars say about 17 salawat were led by Abu Bakr in the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and that means a lot for those who think and reflect day later of what is recorded of his noble sayings was this he said ala la yamutu ahadun minkum illa wa huwa yuhsinu dhanna billah let none of you die when the time of his or her death comes except that he or she should be in a state of high hopes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A day later, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, whatever was, has remained in his frugal house, he gave away. He freed all those who served him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. He had six dinar left. He gave that all away. None of that was remaining. He gave everything. He had left nothing much. Aisha needed oil for the lamp radiallahu ta'ala anha that night and she didn't have oil for the lamp that night she went and borrowed some from some of the neighbors to light the lamp in the room of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam I know my mother your heart was illuminated by the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa The next day, the day before he passed away, he left again this was again qatala allahu al-yahud wa an-nasara ittakhadhu qubur anbiya'ihim masajid again he emphasized that his grave is not to be a place of worship and then he said la yabqayanna dinan fi jazirat al-harab the Arabian Peninsula was meant by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a holy place in a most beautiful sense and in a general sense. No two faiths are to be in that part of the globe. Al-Islam, Al-Islam. The purity of that deen is from there it will remain there, it will be there, it is intended to be there. وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَا يَأْرُزُ إِلَى الْجَزِيرَةِ وَفِي رِوَايَةٍ إِلَى الْمَدِينَةِ وَفِي رِوَايَةٍ إِلَى مَكَّةَ وَالْمَدِينَةِ كَمَا تَأْرُزُ الْحَيَّةُ إِلَى جُحْرِهَا The purity of the deen will always be there, ultimately. And in those last moments, he said, As-salah, as-salah, wa ma malakat aymanukum. As-salat, as-salah, wa ma malakat aymanukum. As-salat, as-salah, 
وما ملكت أيمانكم Your Rasul leaves you these last words الصلاة الصلاة The summary of all his teachings was it seemed in this the purity of the deen in Jazeera al Arab in particular and as salah as salah my brother my sister wama malakat aymanukum and those whom your right hand possesses Monday morning Fajr time Abu Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala anna, is the imam of the believers suddenly suddenly the curtain opens from the private quarters of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha and that door opened directly into the masjid in the front rows of the masjid the curtain is open and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is standing at that door seeing Abu Bakr radiallahu an leading his ummah in salah. The last sight from this dunya of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam was his ummah in salah. His ummah united in salah. That was the last sight of his ummah. They were so elated, so happy. قال أنس كادوا يفتتنون في صلاتهم فرحا برسول الله. Out of joy, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now is healed. They thought he came to lead us again. No, he did not. When he looked at them, he smiled. Tabassama wa He smiled. And then he closed the curtain. And went back. Until duha time. His beautiful, in every way, daughter Fatima, alayha salam wa radiallahu anha, came to him and he called her and whispered a few words in her ears and she wept. And he called her again and he whispered a few words in her noble ears and she smiled. <laughs> Later she, you, she was to say that the first few words he whispered into my ears were, I will die. She wept. The next words he whispered in her ears were, you will be the first one of my household to join me. She smiled. And yes, six months later, she joined him. last, very last 
seconds, minutes. Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhuma enters the private quarters of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And he's laying in the arms of Aisha against her noble chest. And Abu Ba'an Abdul Rahman was carrying a miswak. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Aisha who read, who read with her eyes of her head and her eyes of her heart every move external and internal of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it seems she said I knew as he looked at Abdul Rahman that he perhaps wanted siwak at that moment ya Rasulullah at that moment she said I told him would you like the siwak ya Rasulullah he moved his head yes she took it from him and, and then she never forgot this to be one of her most special privileges with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qalat اختلط ريقي بريقه عند موته. My saliva mixed with his at the moment of his death. For she said to him, as the siwak was hard, she said, Shall I soften it for you? He moved his head. Yes. She took it in her noble, sweet mouth and softened it softened it and gave it to him and he took it in his mouth and right after that With those whom you graced from among the Nabiyeen and the Muqarrabeen and the Shuhda and the Salihin. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, grant me rahmah. Of the Most High. 
Allah, the company of the Most High. Oh Allah, the company of the Most High. I love you, Rasulullah. 